everyone, Shalek Venom1 here and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are getting back into the supernatural fandom, the fun, the ghost, everything. I am so excited to watch this episode though because it's called Dead in Water. And I know nothing about this series as I've said many times before. But I also love stories that involve like water and like water creatures. So hopefully this is a little bit more like a presence or like a demon dealing with water because that would be a really cool element see what i said what i did there um but i'm really excited to get into it i'm loving the series so far i know you guys are as well so i'm really excited to get into it so sit back grab a snack and enjoy my first time watching supernatural season one episode three. Oh, happy little family what's about to happen all these workout skills i don't know guys don't like buff girls no, shut up girls don't like guys who still live at home Ooh, burned. Oh, is she gonna die? This is, oh, she's swimming. Bro, how the hell you got out all you boated all the way out there to go swimming? Couldn't you have just swam at the shore? Oh shit. I really don't want her to get eaten. It's giving Jaws and Jason. I've never seen Jason. Ew, is there whispering? Oh shit! No blood? Nothing? No way, she just did it not it nothing ate her. She just disappeared. Ooh. Look at that smile. Oh my gosh. Just a check, please. Okay. Dean, knock it off. You know, Sam, we are allowed to have fun once in a while. No. Boy, That's sit down. Fine. We're on a mission. We gotta be serious. Yeah, take a look at this. I think I got one. Lake Manitoc, Wisconsin. Last week, Sophie Carlton, 18, walks into the lake. Doesn't walk out. Authorities drag the water. Nothing. Sophie Carlton is the third Lake Manitoc drowning this year. None of the other bodies were found either. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ago. Funeral. Yeah, it's weird. They buried an empty coffin for uh, an enclosure or whatever. Closure? Dean. What closure? People don't just disappear, Dean. They do. Other people just stop looking for them. Will Carlton? Yeah, that's right. I'm Agent Ford. Oh my Agent gosh. Hamill. We're with the U.S. Wildlife Service. Oh, he just used his old ID. Okay. Oh, shit. This dad's got to be real broken up. She was about a hundred yards out. That's where she got dragged out. And you're sure she didn't just drown? Yeah. She was a varsity swimmer. She practically grew up in that lake. Mm-hmm. She's as safe out there as in her own bathtub. Okay. So no splashing? No signs of distress? No, that's what I'm telling you. Did you see any Well, don't get an water? attitude. He's asking. Maybe some dark shape breached the surface. No, I, again, she was really far out there. You ever see any strange tracks by the shoreline? No, never. Why? Why, what do you think's out there? Look, if you don't mind, I mean, he didn't see anything, and he's kind of been through a lot. We understand. This makes me suspicious of the brother, and I don't know why, because I feel like Sam's picking up a vibe that is just, I don't know, it, it, is there something with the brother? I feel like there can't be, though. Why would he kill his own sister? Now, I'm sorry, but why does the Wildlife Service care about an accidental drowning? You sure it's accidental? Will Carlton saw something grab his sister. Like what? These are people from my town. Mm -hmm. These are people I care about. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all this, it won't be a problem much longer. Why? What do you mean? Well, the dam, of course. Of course. What? It, what? The dam. It's, uh, sprung a leak. It's falling apart. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you, don't guess. won't give us the grant to repair it, so they've opened the spillway. In another six months, there won't be much of a lake. There won't be much of a town, either. But as federal wildlife, you already knew that. Oh my gosh, exactly. he's calling your bluff, Dean. Sorry, he's calling it. interrupting. Oh, well, hey there. Oh. What's your name? Oh, he doesn't like you. He's like, leave me alone. 
His name is Lucas. What happened that made them... Is he okay? My grandson's been through a lot. We all have. Mm. Well, if there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. Thanks. So, you know, now that you mentioned it, could you point us in the direction of a reasonably priced motel? Lakefront Motel. Go around the corner. It's two blocks out. Would you mind showing us? Oh my gosh, Dean! <laughs> you want me to walk you two blocks? Not if it's any trouble. Like I said, two blocks. Thanks. Must be hard with your sense of direction. Never being able to find your way to a decent pickup line. Oh my god, <laughs> Sam is. Enjoy your stay. Kids are the best. What do you mean you like kids? I love kids. Name three children that you even know. If there is something out there, it's picking up its pace. So what, we got a lake monster on a binge? This whole lake monster theory, it, it just bugs me. Why? Loch Ness, uh, Lake Champlain, there are literally hundreds of eyewitness accounts, but here, almost nothing. Whatever it is out there, no one's living to talk about it. Wait, Barr. Christopher Barr, where, where have I heard that name before? Christopher Barr, the victim in May. Did uh, he survive? Christopher Barr was Andrea's husband, Lucas's father. Apparently, he took Lucas out swimming. Lucas oh was God. on a floating wooden platform when Chris drowned. Two hours before the kid got rescued. Holy crap, damn. Maybe we have an eyewitness after all. Oh, don't interrogate the kid, though. Kids are so freaked out. Yeah. Watch when your parents dies, it's something you just get over. Oh, Dean. Ah. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, I used to love these things. Don't touch his toys without him. Wow. So crayons is more your thing. That's cool. Shit's big artist. Oh my gosh, Dean. Oh my gosh, what was that circle circle thing? Mm. Mind if I sit and draw with you for a while? I'm not so bad myself. Oh. This is so cute. No, I'm thinking you can hear me. You just don't want to talk. Well, yeah, dude. I don't know exactly what happened to your dad. But I know it was something real bad. And I think I know how you feel. Okay. No problem. This is for you. What is it? This is my family. <laughs> that's my dad. And that's... My mom. Oh. That's my geek brother. And that's me. <laughs> All right, so I'm a sucky artist. I'll see you around, Lucas. Yeah, Dean, you didn't really get anywhere. The doctors say <sighs> that it's a kind of post traumatic stress. That can't be easy. Out yeah, I was gonna say that makes yeah. sense. It could just be a trauma thing. He helps out a lot. Yeah. It's just when I think about what Lucas went through, what he saw. Does he tell you? Kids are strong. You'd be surprised what they can deal with. You know, he used to have such life. He was hard to keep up with, to tell you the truth. Aww. Now he just sits there. Pictures, oh, wait, he maybe he has something. I just wish. Hey, sweetie. Dean, he's got your picture. What did he do? Thanks. Wow. Maybe that's a clue. He drew you something. He tried to say something. What in the hell are you cooking? Why is it... What was that? Oh shit, there's something coming through the freaking sink? Oh my god. Um. Ugh! The fuck is that? Bitch, get out of there! There's clearly something that's not happy. Oh my 
my god! You can't take the son too, you can! The dad will not live after this! Pull yourself out, come on! God! Oh my god! Is the water? I think it's safe to say we can rule out Nessie. What do you mean? I just drove past the Carlton house. There was an ambulance there. Will Carlton is dead. He drowned? Yep. In the sink. What the is hell? it possible that the fucking water is possessed? I mean, it's quite a stupid theory, but I... What else do we have to go off of? It's The water is the thing killing people. It's not a, a creature, because it came up through the sink. So you're right. This isn't a creature. We're dealing with something else. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Water. Water wraith, maybe? Some kind of demon? I mean, something that controls water. God, give him some time, guys. We'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. We're from the de department. I don't care who you're with. Oh. I've answered enough questions today. Yeah. Your son said he saw something in that lake. What about you? Do you ever see anything out there? Mr. Carlton, Sophie's drowning and Will's death. We think there might be a connection to you or your family. But children are gone. Yeah. This is really not a time to do it's, this. It's worse than dying. Wait a second. Maybe Bill's not the only one who knows something. Yeah, I was gonna say he gave her that picture of the house. That's their house. There's something going on here. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a good idea. I just need to talk to you. Just for a few minutes. For you what? Say anything. What good's it gonna do? Andrea, we think more people might get hurt. We think something's happening out there. My husband, the others, they just drowned. That's all. If that's what you really believe, then we'll go. But if you think there's even a possibility that something else could be going on here, please let me talk to your son. You know what's kind of nice? I like to see Dean as the gentle type because a lot of the time you kind of see him as the gruff, rugged, like, bad boy type, but he's actually a really gentle guy. Yeah, you know, like, I, he's uh, really soft-spoken and he really knows how to, like, to connect with his kid. Last drawing. But the thing is, I need your help again. Yeah. Who's that? something bad was going to happen? Can he see the future? Maybe you could nod yes or no for me. I'm scared. It's okay. I understand. See, when I was your age, I saw something real bad happen to my mom. <laughs> yeah. And I was scared too. Do my best to be right. And maybe your dad would be brave too. Mm. Is he gonna help? No shit if he talks. Oh, okay, he drew another picture. Who's that? Miss Lucas. Oh, he's gonna. You know, um, mm. what you said about mom. You never told me that before. No big deal. Oh, Dean. Oh, God, we're not gonna have to hug or anything, are we? <laughs> No, but Sam never understood that because Sam was a baby when it happened. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna whack him a little bit though. Is this not a yellow house? We're in this. Look at this. That's a yellow house right there. Okay. You see the yellow in that? Okay, watch this house. 
that house not freaking white as day? That is not a yellow house at all. And you've been gone 35 years now. Gosh. The police never... Oh, it's another cave. I never had any idea what happened. You just disappeared. Losing him. You... It's... It's worse than dying. Did he disappear from here? I mean, from this house? You were supposed to... Ride his bike straight home after school. And you just... Oh, my God. I didn't believe. Now I think I do. I think I finally know what you want. No, Bill, I swear if you sacrifice yourself, I'm gonna lose. No. Okay, this little boy, Peter Sweeney. Oh my and gosh, I'm so scared now because if he kills himself, we're not gonna know anything. Like he and this is all connected to Bill. And Collins. he knows. Uh -huh. Yeah, Bill sure as hell seems to be hiding something, huh? And Bill, the people he loves, they're all getting punished. So what if Bill did something to Peter? What if Bill killed him? Yeah, Peter's spirit would be furious. It won't revenge. It's possible. What's he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Get the fuck out of the water right now. Lucas does. Might be better if you and Lucas went along. No. Lucas, hey, what? what is it? Lucas. <laughs> Lucas, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Lucas, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell you something. He just can't. Can something. Attack Bill's boat. Sending Bill. Mm -hmm. Who is a very good swimmer, by the way. Uh huh. Into the drink. Right. And you never see him again. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sums it up. I'm supposed to believe this. Even though I've already sonar swept that entire lake. And what you're describing is impossible. And you're not really Wells. That's right. I checked. The department's okay. never heard of you, too. See? And now we can explain Enough. that. I can arrest you for impersonating government officials and hold you as material witnesses to Bill Carlton's disappearance. Hmm. Or we can chalk this all up to a bad day. You get into your car, you put this town in your rearview mirror, and you don't ever darken my doorstep again. No. Door number two sounds good. That's <laughs> the one I picked. Guys, don't leave. Green. What? You don't. Lights green. You know it's not the right thing to do. And you can't leave. Uh, interstate's the other way. I know. I'm not leaving. I'm not so sure. If Bill murdered Peter Sweeney and Peter Spear got his revenge, case closed. No. Should be at rest. All right. So what if we take off and this thing isn't done? Right. You know, what if we've missed something? What if more people get hurt? But yes. Why would you think that? Because Lucas was really scared. That's what this is about? Oh my gosh. I still want to leave this town though. I know the kid's okay. Who are you? And what have you done with my brother? A better Dean. Shut up. Why is your bathroom so damn dark? Oh my gosh. He's scared because it's going to be his mom next. Well, that tub water is high enough. Turn the water off. Turn off the water. That tub is high enough. Turn it off. Girl. Oh, my gosh. See, if she would have turned the damn tap off already. Oh, my gosh. Ew, how do you not feel that? Ugh. Get out of the water, you, you know. 
bro, fight it. Oh my god, no. What about this? It's pretty light, man. Break into this fucking house right now. Break it. Go, go, go. Go. He's telling you, go. Oh my god, the water's coming. Get out. Come on, break it down. He knew how to break the door. Get her out of the fucking water. Sam, come on. You can do it. Yes! Dude, Dean, get in there! Help him! I'm going crazy. Girl, it's not you. No, you're not. Tell me what happened. Everything. Well, she didn't know how to turn on a freaking bathroom light, and then she got in the tub that was full of water and continued to leave the tap on. Thought I heard something. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Then I couldn't do it. Hmm. Oh my god. You recognize the kids in these pictures? Mm. -mm. Oh, um, no. I, I mean, except that's my dad right there. I'm not saying that. In these pictures. Wait a second. Chris Barr's drowning. The connection wasn't to Bill Carlton, it must have been the sheriff. Oh Bill my god. And the sheriff. They were both involved with Peter. I'm not crazy. My dad, what are you talking about? Lucas? Lucas, what is it? You and Lucas get back to the house and stay there, okay? What? Oh, oh, a grave. Maybe not. What is here? Oh, I don't like that. A bike. The bike. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Put the gun down, Jake. Oh, How that's the sheriff. That there. What happened? You and Bill killed Peter. Drown him in the lake and then bury the bike? Greasy, pissed off spirit. It's gonna take Andrea, Lucas, everyone you love. It's gonna drown him and it's gonna drag their bodies God knows where so you can feel the same pain Peter's mom felt. And then after that, it's gonna take you and it's not gonna stop until it does. Yeah, and how do you know that? Because that's exactly what it did to Bill Carlton. Listen to yourself, both of you, you're insane. I don't really give a rat's ass what you think of us. <laughs> But if we're going to bring down this spirit, we need to find the remains, salt them, and burn them into dust. Now tell me you buried Peter somewhere. Tell me you didn't just let him go in the lake. He can't tell you that. Oh my god. Get your son, and you need to... Billy and I were at the lake. Peter was the smallest one. We always bullied him. Oh my gosh. This time, it got rough. Mm. We were holding his head under the water. We didn't the mean fuck? to. What do you mean you didn't under. fucking mean to? You we held him underwater? Underground. Dumb shit? We let the body go. And it's oh my god, and you two lived with that. Why? You. We need to get you away from this lake as far as we can right now. What about your son? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Lucas! Get him away now. Girl, Andrea, we cannot have you panic right now, girl. Get in there. Oh my god, no, Lucas! don't come play with them. We don't want to play. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Boy, get the ring girl came up for him. Oh, can you jump in there? Oh my god, he sees your ass. No, do not get in the water. They're after you, too. Stop trying to get in the water. If you can hear me, oh my god, get your freaking dad, please. 
And Jack, no. I'm so sorry. Can you get him? He's just a little boy. Please, he's not his fault. He's fine. Please take me. Jake, go. Yeah, I was going to say. Let it be over. No, she doesn't have Lucas, and she doesn't have you. Good job. Oh my god. And Andrea looks like she just lost, like, the freaking remote to the TV. She does not look sad enough to know that her dad just died in front of her. Oh my god. Dean got him. Okay, we got him. Glad we caught you. We just um we made you lunch for the road. Andrea, I'm sorry. You saved my son. Well, technically Dean pulled him out. I can't ask for more than that. Dad loved me. He loved Lucas. No matter what he did, I just have to hold on to that. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna be talking now. This is a very important phrase, so I want you to repeat it back to me one more time. Except for you. That's right. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, that's what he taught him. <gasps> that was so cute, Dean. Dean. Sam, move your ass. Oh, Dean. Dean might have himself a little family. Oh! Oh, that was cute! That was my first time watching season one, episode three of Supernatural. That one was a blast. I really enjoyed that episode. I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm understanding now that we're basically going to have the same formula, like in the first half, it's going to show you a scene or a, a snippet of uh, what we're dealing with, and then we're going to have to discover what we're really dealing with the entire time throughout the episode. Now, that formula might get a little stale for me or some people at some point, but right now I'm really enjoying it. I like that we incorporated water, and, and we learned that uh, the ghosts and demons in the show can be merciful as far as, like, well, it's one eye for another, but at the same time, they also don't forget a grudge. So, you know, um, I guess they're always looking for revenge because this ghost was a little scarier. And honestly, I didn't even think it was the sheriff the whole time. I should have picked up on that after a while and they revealed it. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have known that sooner. That's why he wanted them to leave. That's why he wanted them to put this to bed and just walk away. And I was so nervous because the minute that mom went to take a shot or went to take a bath and uh, that kid was panicking i was like i knew i was like oh shit here it comes she's gonna be the next one taken because this thing has no limits it will take everybody in this family and i was just so nervous i was like uh but i love dean in this episode he actually got a little taste of like what it was like having a family kind of dynamic like he actually got to like find someone and find you know a bond with this kid it was so cute and I like that Sam kind of let him have that for a little bit. Like, you know, he was all upset. Or I guess he wasn't all upset. But he was like, why aren't we going straight to dad? Why aren't we doing this? But he let him have that. Like, he, he didn't really push the issue of, like, why are you getting so involved as much as I thought he might, which was kind of worrisome to me because I was like, it scares me for any of these characters to get attached to anybody because they tend to have a history where it doesn't work out very well. It's amazing, and Sam's awesome, and I don't know what else to say. I'm enjoying the hell out of this series. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome, and until next time, guys, bye! Row, row, row your boat, gently down the stream.